Monday Night Football, and it's the return of Tom Brady. Hey, how are you, folks? Jason Horowitz. You sound like Howard Cosell, then. Well, I, <laughs> it's the cold that's going over All me right. here. NFL.com's Pat Kerwin. Glad to be with you here on CBSSports.com. Welcome to the NFL Preview Show presented by Tyson Anytizers. And, Pat, uh, it's the first of the doubleheader on Monday night, and it's it was billed as Terrell Owens' first game uh, in a Buffalo jersey, but because of his toe injury, all the focus here has got to be on Tom Brady's return. Well, I think, you know, Terrell's going to play in this game, and he's going to be watching Rand. Andy Moss and as Randy catches pass after pass from Tom Brady his blood's gonna boil 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 until he explodes on the sideline a lot of a lot of difficult things going on in Buffalo right now it's gonna be a very tough night for them. let's talk about that because there are so many things going on uh, offensive line issues they just cut Langston Walker they're gonna go with Demetrius Bell the, the young tackle uh, offensive line the kind of a problem and they fired Turk Schoner it was the third sure. offensive coordinator to be fired in the last two weeks what plays out here in their first game well they're trying to be a no huddle offense I think Turk was a big proponent of that they practiced it all summer Terrell Owens has already said he's not not big on that. Why? Because he can't get back to the huddle to massage the quarterback and get more balls thrown his way. Keep him out there so he struggles with it. But three, and I'm going to call Bell a rookie. The guy has never played. So you have three rookie linemen in the offensive line in a no huddle offense on the road. Look for procedure penalties, look for offsides, look for mental breakdowns on coverage. It's really hard to turn to the center and ask for help and ask Hangartner what to do yeah. when you're uh, no huddle. And, and when you can't hear because Correct. Gillette Stadium is one of the loudest to, in, in the NFL. On the other side, Pat, they're going up against a defense that certainly has been in a lot of headlines of late because of the subtractions, six new, uh, six new starters this year uh, for the Patriots defense. Well, I know Bill Belichick's a very creative guy, and uh, he also is very keen to the business part of it so that we see the Richard Seymour trade and the signability issues come up with that. But when I was at camp, what, I, what occurred to me was these guys could easily slide into a 4-3 defense. They're known as a 34, but when you take Ron Brace and slide him inside with Vince Wolfork and put him on the guards, remember, they've lost a bunch of linebackers. Put Gerard Mayo in the middle as a Mike Backer behind 750 pounds of tackles, and you probably can't get a blocker on him. So I'm expecting to see 4-3 principles in their defense, and they've got plenty of outside rushes picking up Derek Burgess. Do you think the loss of all that leadership, the Brewskis, the Vrabels, the Harrisons, the, everybody that's no longer there, do you think that's going to play a role throughout the season? You know, I asked a number of the players that are no longer get there that question. You know what they said to me? Yeah, I'm gone. Yeah, he's gone, but Bill's still there, and in Bill we trust. And they still respect the guy, and they're not there anymore. They've retired. Teddy Bruschi said it best. He'll stand in front of our team, he'll install the defense, and we will all walk out of the room believing it works, and it will work. They're going to play terrific defense. And by the way, the secondary, underrated. Let the stars emerge from that group. Yep. But there are some terrific young players there. Well, what about the Bills defense, Pat? All off season, we heard, can we get a pass rush? Can they do it in week one? They have pass rush. And I'm concerned for Tom Brady about the, the amount of sacks he's been taking. If you go back to that 07 game with Philadelphia and study them for his last 400 throws, 21 sacks, 29 hits on the quarterback. To me, Tom Brady's answer is going to be two things. More protection, maybe a tight end close, help one of the tackles, and then the quick game out of the shotgun. I'm looking for a short rhythm passing game to Randy Moss and the other receivers. And if Walker's limited, so what? We go the other way to yeah. Galloway. Yeah, that's the other thing, because Bill Belichick, he'll figure out a way to get Joey Galloway involved, to get Fred Taylor involved, to get all the running backs they have. Uh, there are a lot of weapons there for Tom Brady. All right, Pat, uh, a lot of people like the Patriots to get to the Super Bowl. It has to start week by week. This is the, the first yeah, week back. Yeah, I'm not so sure about the Super Bowl yet. i got to see a lot of things un unfold as the year goes on, but they've beaten Buffalo 11 straight yep. times. They're going to make it 12. It's a, dozen, it's a dozen in a row. I think Buffalo's in a very, very tough position. All right, so Tio gets the key to the city, but you don't like him to help uh, Buffalo get a he win. He may not want to get on the bus on the way yeah. to the airport. In week one, we'll see how it all plays out. Monday Night Football, be sure to stay with CBSSports.com for all the latest. That'll do it for the NFL Preview Show, presented by Tyson Anytizers, the meaty good man snack. For Pat Kerwin, I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care, folks.